Welcome in this new tutorial talking about how to set up a communication between an RTU and ClearSCADA. In this tutorial we will have an RTU on the same network as the OPC server and we will establish a connection between the server and ClearSCADA. Let's begin. So for this tutorial you will need ClearSCADA service manager and Vuex. You will also need tracer coming from the telemetry folder. The first thing you have to do is to go in the XML file for the configuration of the OPC server. So in the telemetry folder, OPC, and then you can do a right click and open it. In this configuration file, you will find your equipment. Mine is already configured, so I have the name of the RTU, the protocol, the IP address, the port number used. I also have the name, the type of equipment, and the site number. You can find these informations also in the configuration of the RTU. For example, the site number is here, the IP address is here, and the protocol is here. Then you have to start the services. The first one is the server, and the second one is the license server. Then you can run Vuex. When Vuex is launched, you have to log on with your username and the password. In the tree structure, you have a bunch of project folders, so we will have to create a new one. Create new, and then a group. In this main folder, you will have to create a new folder dedicated for the data coming from the RTU. Then for the OPC telemetry, you have to create a new server and a new group. So I have my group and my server. In the new server, the first thing to do is to tick in service. Here you can change for always. You have to put local server, the username. OK. So when the username and the password is filled, you have also the OPCDA server to configure. The server prog ID. You will choose the software telemetry OPC server. And then the configuration of the new server is done. You must do a control plus S to save the configuration. Then you have to configure the group. The group you also need to tick in service. Here you can put always. And then you have to add a new server. The new server is the server we just configured before. OK. Control S. I will rename those two items. OK, so now that we have the group and the server well configured, what we have to do now is to create the data. So in the data group, we do a create new, OPC advanced, and an analog point. We will create an analog point for the historics, and another analog point for the current value.
we will also need a digital point for the item ask this item is necessary to start the communication so we will tick in service select the group and you will find the item ID in the RTU connection and then asked in the control tab you have to enable two actions one to stop the communication and one to start control S to save then we will parameter the historic analog point again we tick in service we choose the group and in the RTU we will choose a numerical input we have the choice between the age value and the value the age value will collect all the historics and the value will only collect the current value we need to specify the data number between parentheses here the data number is 1 we also need to parameter the sin significant change with a very low dead band and then to enable the hysterics we save and then we can parameter the current value this time we will choose the value numerical inputs and then the value and again we have to put between parentheses the data number we will also enable the historics on this value what we can do now is to go on the mimic diagram drag and drop the ask item the current value the name the value and the timestamp and for the historic value we will start the design mode and start the, the communication in the tracer we should be able to see the items coming from the OPC server we can refresh the historic and then display the historic list on the historic list we have few data and we will see on the device if we have the same data on the analog input we have the 44 here and then the 52 if we refresh the analog point we should be able to see the 68 so on the mimic diagram so I restarted a communication the value changed at 68 and now if we open again the historic list we have our last value
We can also display the historic trend. And here we can see the values with the curve. Thank you for watching and see you next time in a new video.